So I know it really seems like I only involve myself with horror films and games, and I'll concede that has been my focus when it comes to the cinematic media in my library. As of right now, that library consists of 443 films, and 37% of those qualify as horror, apparently. In any case, I do enjoy horror very much, but I just want to establish that I don't only deliver my piece on horror works, merely the works that I think are worth offering my opinion on. I have happened to enjoy a lot of cinematic gems that I think some people should check out, while I've hated others that I think some people should hear about beforehand. Or afterward, feel free to disagree with me, c'est la vie. My point is, I haven't watched a non-horror film in a while, and while the majority of my library is non-horror, I'm just not sure anyone would give a shit about what I think of a great film, non-horror, from seven years ago. If you think that's worth approaching, please do let me know. Either way, let's proceed. I previously mentioned a horror film called Lake Mungo in my review of The Tunnel. In that review, I offered praise toward the film for its level of authenticity when it comes to portraying itself as a mockumentary, so I figured I'd give my piece on it. Lake Mungo is an Australian psychological horror film written and directed by Joel Anderson. It was screened in March of 2009 at the South by Southwest Film Festival in Austin, Texas. It's a pretty small film in regards to popularity, but where it has been reviewed, it's received a positive reception. Now, because it's a psychological horror, you can't go into it expecting a scary flick. This is done as though it were a professional documentary, which means proper doc pacing, and no outrageous story. Don't get me wrong, this story is fantastic, I just mean that there aren't constant explosions of supernatural entities and whatnot. That doesn't happen in reality, and this is a film that's meant to be real. The premise is that in 2005, a family in the small town of Ararat suffers an accident resulting in their 16-year-old daughter drowning in a nearby dam. The family copes with the loss, they begin to notice peculiar events arising, and the truth behind the death of this loved one starts to trickle in. The experience is documented and presented by a film crew. Right off the bat, the performances are strikingly good. Obviously, the cast isn't composed of A-list professional actors, so as to preserve the authenticity of the production. Despite that, if I weren't better informed and this thing just came on the TV without context, I could perhaps believe that this was an actual documentary. These characters are done so absolutely perfectly. The actors of this family truly seem like they're discussing the loss of their daughter and sibling, trying to present their story calmly, but with noticeable hurt. Those beyond the family cast performs so professionally as well. I honestly don't know that I've seen anything quite like it in a clearly fictional production. The editing is nothing short of superb, which is essential for a mockumentary product. Slow, silent shots as a true doc would include, the quality of the footage is so accurate for the time it was meant to be filmed, and truly nothing sticks out as amateur to me. The news footage is practically real, along with every other facet of the film. They present music here and there which you may know I have my peeves about, especially with horror, but it suits the mockumentary aesthetic perfectly. This is a crew trying to present the facts as they're found, but they also have a duty to provide an entertainment value simultaneously. You might be wondering what exactly makes this a horror film, and I can understand that. As said, this isn't something to watch when you just want to be scared and stay scared. This is a story from beginning to end that unravels with you, and trust me, it's definitely a horror. I'm just striving not to spoil things regarding the story because you really should watch it yourself. I'll say this much. The fright shown in the film, paired along with the authenticity it strives for, makes for a terribly chilling experience. There are some honest spooks included, don't worry, but most of the horror is very subtle. Characters describing creepy events and shots of evidence of something more being amiss. These are things that are subtle enough that when you catch them, you don't really realize it until that chill has already crept in. In closing, Lake Mungo is definitely one of those horror gems that's worth holding on to. It's not boring, even though it certainly could have been, and it's just a damn good presentation, ultimately. Whether it's worth one watch or many is up to you and your reaction to the film. But having rewatched it for the sake of this review, I can say it's definitely been worth keeping in my library.